what's going on youtube welcome back to the channel today we're going to do a little bit of a different video i purchased a couple things to help with the quality of my videos because um you know it's it's pretty difficult to hold a camera uh especially the gopro being how small it is uh getting still shots even i've used using my phone quite a bit as well so what i did i went out and purchased something new so here it is uh this is the mobi photo uh, it's a kit essentially for vlogging so I know it has a smartphone in here but you can also attach your GoPro which I will show you exactly how I did it but uh, without uh, further ado let's start with the unboxing so let's begin with this okay so it seems uh, kit comes with quite a bit uh, the light, the microphone, which I was especially interested in um, because I noticed that the GoPro, the sound quality is not as clear. So this microphone, which looks like it comes with a 3.5 mil, that uh, I really, really need this because like the GoPro's microphone, it catches a lot of static. So this, especially with the foam, uh, hopefully it gets rid of some of the the wind noise whenever I'm recording outside and some of the static from GoPro moving so this might be the last video of you guys hearing my voice quality or the sound quality of this video sound like this it should be uh, quite a bit improved with this we'll give it a shot it looks like it requires a battery which I, and it's a triple-a battery there so we'll go ahead and purchase that and swap that in the other thing that it comes with it looks like it's a charging cable so this is a usb to usb a um, charging cable which i think it is for this light uh, this is very important so i you know in the garage i have a couple lights um, which i use extensively i have one that's i have a couple that are actually powered uh, you know electric and then some of them that are battery powered so i use them to the best of my ability and the the best part about this especially because i have to hold those lights separately is this will mount on top of that so the good thing will be uh wherever i face the camera you know wherever i rotate the the lights will point exactly where they need to be um looks like it also comes with a small tripod uh, which is very helpful because the current tripod that i have is not as good i purchased it as part of a set for all these gopro attachments so this feels really good it's a very solid piece um according to what's written on the box this is aircraft grade aluminum if i'm not mistaken uh although it's a tabletop one you can purchase taller ones and if you notice that it has a threaded um the threaded insert which allows you to i guess swap over to the taller ones and some adjustability like it has a pivoting head at the top so you can move that around and if you want to loosen it up to make the swivel a lot easier so that's very useful and last but not least the actual handle itself so this is the most important piece and wow this i can say right off the bat this feels very sturdy as the multiple threaded inserts right at the top um you know we're able to insert quite a few things because we have um different amounts from the gopro attachments we can buy multiple lights if we need to the other advantage of these things is you can just slide that in lock it down tighten that up just like that and so you know as you're moving this head you're able to get a pretty good quality uh still video because you're holding it with two hands and also the light will be facing exactly where you want it to face uh, let's turn on this light and see how bright it is so you just press and hold the button wow that is very bright i think it has a couple modes look at that that's very very helpful with the lighting these lights are extremely bright so that's very helpful so go ahead and turn that off um we'll go ahead and also mount this so that slides in right there locks in and i think you have a couple different settings from off to zero decibels to plus 20 so i guess you could increase the sensitivity of this microphone um, as for the gopro you will need the 
3.5 to USB-C, at least for the GoPro Hero 7, which is what I have, you do need to, um, you need a USB-C converter, but that shouldn't be a problem. And for the sake of testing, what we'll do now is actually go ahead and attach my phone. Um, so it seems you just loosen this up, slide the pivot up, slide your phone in, and then drop that down and tighten that up like that. There we go. Okay, so here is how it will look, I guess, when everything is set up. Um, I'll show you which camera mount I use for the GoPro, but at least for your phone, because it is a vlogging kit that is specifically made for pretty much any device, um, you know, you can attach any phone in here. Uh, you have the little ball that you just tighten down on this side. So once you tighten that up, you've basically set up your phone just like this and let's turn on the light. Oh, there we go. So as you can see from the screen, the, well, because I'm recording a screen, the quality on the GoPro won't be able to pick, won't be able to pick it up. But just behind that, you can see how bright, like let's, let's do a demonstration. So I'll put this down here, right? And this is one mode one, mode two, mode three. And you can see how impressive those lights are. They really, really help brighten up that image. So I, wow, this, I'm really happy I purchased this. Um, that's, this is one of the purchases. I'm quite happy with this. Like I, I realized that, you know, this will help me a lot with the quality of my videos. So if you guys are looking to purchase this, I purchased this from Henry's, my local uh, photography, the camera store. It was, I believe $66 plus tax, $69 plus tax. Yeah, $69 plus tax. And honestly, it seems great. The, the quality of this piece right here, which is, you know, you're gonna be using this extensively. You can throw it around. It seems very solid. Um, even just the sliding portion, it has rubber inserts here. So your phone doesn't get damaged. So that's very helpful. The other thing is the fact that you can attach your GoPro. So you have a couple different options. The option I find would probably will be the safest. Um, you can basically get your, and if you have a handlebar mount like this, so this came as part of my kit um, with the GoPro pieces. So what you can do is just, you know, unthread this. Oh my God. And then once you get this side off, all you need to do is really just slide this in at the very top. And same thing on the other side. So let's get that. I think if such long screws so unnecessary. But anyways, once you get this off, uh, slide these screws right through these holes and there you go. So once you've got, you know, your handlebar mount basically locked in here, and I'm struggling, but just like that, once you've got those locked in, you have a GoPro attachment just like that. Uh, you know, because it's centered, you have your light and your microphone facing the exact same way. So again, this is ex excellent quality. It should be super helpful. Again, with recording videos, I am pleasantly surprised with how good um, the feel of this is. The rubber grips also give, you know, like a very good, uh, very good solid place to grab. And, you know, just overall, you have the maneuverability and holding it steady it makes it a lot easier because you're holding your two hands. So again, highly recommend. It's a fantastic product. Um, moving on, this aside, obviously we just can't end it there. We did purchase one more thing and it just came in the mail today. It looks like it's packaged up pretty tight. So let me just grab my knife really quickly and we'll go ahead and open this up. Okay, so. Wow, I'm surprised these came in so quickly. Oh, look at that. So, as you guys may have seen on my E36, these fender markers are absolutely crap. They're gone, they've just done. Uh, the rubber seals around them, they've gone bad. So I purchased these um, and they were shipped out recently. These are the new side markers 
and these are the clear ones i i prefer the clear because i have clear turn signals already on the car so i'm going to stick with that theme um they come with new rubber gaskets and overall they seem like they're fairly good quality these are i believe they are so they're made by depot as you can see on the lens there and you know that's a fairly good company uh trustworthy and here's the other side so this should help with the sort of the fit and finish um we'll get to installing these once i've essentially put the car back on the ground because currently just working on the underbody restore if you guys are curious to see what i'm doing on the underbody please let me know uh essentially what i'm what i'm trying to do is get it back to, so so it looks like almost factory fresh you know finishing up cleaning up those panels that really um have like surface rust or some sort of wear because you know the e36s they come uh sort of coated with the rubberized material and eventually it starts to just peel and you know there, there are certain spots which are not covered so i'm essentially going underneath you know grinding off all that metal uh coating it with pour 15 so that you know the underbody essentially is sealed from the future weathering um and yeah so if you guys are curious to see what that looks like what the process is and how i approached it let me know in the comments below i'll be happy to share but uh for this one it was a quick and short uh video on unboxing and i hope you guys enjoyed it until next time thank you guys again for watching